whatnots in concert make Julie Garden look like a fire hydrant on downers. The whatnots are the most exciting performers since Menudo. They, uh, mm, yeah, I guess you could say, uh, sort of they are, uh, like the new, uh, Menudo. They make me wet. P. Isadora, yeah, Boy's the, Life. The Whatnots is a tight new kick-ass band from Denver that look like your mama on Sunday. They definitely have my mojo working and a definite 10 on the pedometer, yeah. That Jesus of Christ of Nazareth from Screw. Hire a sitter for the kids and take the missus to hear the fabulous Whatnots. What the hell? Take the kids. Hell, take the sitter too. Hell, if you got a dog, take him with you. What the hell? Take the whole goddamn neighborhood. Enjoy. Julio Iglesias, Derry Goat you'll Journal. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll dance, you'll sing, you'll boogie till you puke all over the person sitting in front of you as I did when I saw the Whatnots at Ford's Theater. Nancy Reagan, drummer. The Whatnots, the most unbelievable accent, Zazu Pitts hit the boards with her bulldogs. Sesu Hayakawa, Pearl Harbor Shopper Guide. Yeah, the Whatnots is coming. Thank you. Thank you. It's one I wrote for your listening pleasure. I went through city streets, I'm thinking that I'm on my own. But I know it's not true, I got somewhere to go. And someone to see when I... No, it's not true, I got somewhere to go. Someone to see when I get there Every time you think that you're on your own there Well, that, that guitar The on the spot reporting up here in the mountains of Boulder. And we have a history of the Whatnots. The Whatnots began back in Babylonia, where a large winged bull arrived and said, Thou shalt be called the Whatnots. We went forth, we put on our spacesuits, we came to this planet, we've adjusted to the environment, and now we're ready to give a human appearance. And in this particular combination of dimensions, we are going to sing, as you will see upon the flame ridden stage in a moment. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to do something a little... It's 
It's time to arise. It's time to open up your loving eyes. You can listen, listen to the cry of love. But it's, it's gonna take you where it wants to make you. Go ahead with the against 
watched it The stars shine on the opera house Fog moves through the alleys The cat writes stories of the mouse You are the heart, the heart of love The mute forgot to talk The graveyard's closed for lack of business All the secrets have been locked And I knew you would be with me And I knew we'd be the same And I know now we want the ultimate As we walk on the lane The winter windy window howls With the ancient wish of spring And in the guiltless morning The gold mine sun melts everything the town is no man's land We are happy having fun It might be polite to say The passing time passed away And I knew you would be with me And I knew we'd be the same And I know now we want the ultimate As we walk on the lane The lovers dance on diamond tiles and mirror corridors. The silent one has spoken. The circle is unbroken. Tonight I see the future and I'm happy as of old. Though all that I have touched has now turned to gold. And I We'll be in Denver on July 3rd at a big giant place at 16th and Gaylord that will seat 900 people. So come and bring everyone. If you can't tell by the love in my eyes, you can't tell by the by the stars of love You can't tell That I'm above I can tell you what to do Does it apply to you? How long will it take? Are you really, really awake? If you can't tell By a dreamy night You can't tell What's wrong or right If you can't tell by the path we take You can't tell when your heart will break I can tell you what to do Does it apply to you? How long will it take? Are you really, really awake? If you can't tell by the smile on my lips You can't tell from a thousand trips If you can't tell That the earth will shake You can't tell What love will take I can tell you what to do Does it apply to you? How long will it take? Are you really, really awake? If you can't tell By a good hot night You can't tell Shining light, if you can't tell, I never let you down. You can't tell when I'll be around. I can tell you what to do. Does it apply to you? How long will it take? Are you really, really awake?
We'd like to play one more with some friends, with some help from some friends of ours. This is a song everybody probably ought to move around to because it goes kind of like... Sitting waiting for the lightning I know I'm going to laugh People wonder if I'm real But I know I'm going to last you got a great sense of humor I see my picture inside I'm thinking with my chicken But it's sort of southern fried You got a great sense of humor Can I please have some? You got a great sense of humor I say now come, come, come With an oriental humor Dishes, and it's a clean brain ham. You got a great sense of humor. Can I please have some? You got a great sense of humor. I say now, come, come, come. The train is whistling at me. I must be quite a sight. They could hire me for Christmas. And trick me through the night You got a great sense of humor Can I please have some? You got a great sense of humor I say now, come, 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 come. Beware of higher graduates With their paper mills and PhDs They were overeducated in life's laughing academy oh, You got a great sense of humor Can I please have some? You got a great sense of humor I say now, come, come, come It's really, truly funny The opinions that we hold I once wasn't good enough now I'm too good for God. You got a great sense of humor. Can I please have some? You got a great sense of humor. I say now, come, come, come. I've laughed at freedom. All the powers I can bend. But the finest joke of life comes when we find doesn't end. Yeah. You got a great sense of humor. Can I please have some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a great sense of humor. I say now, come, come, come. All right, let's have a great round of applause here. Okay, we're going to have a wet t-shirt contest now. When I was about 19, um, a person had said, why don't you go over to Alan Swallow, because we have one of the best publishers in the United States, and see if he will accept a book from you. So I called him, and he said, yeah, I'll come over. So I went to the front door and rang the doorbell, and he answered it in his bathrobe, and he had a real red face, and he looked sort of like W.C. Fields. And uh, 
So, and he had various health problems, maybe drank. And uh, so anyway, Alan Swallow had published a bunch of famous people like Anais Nin, who has become very popular, possibly Henry Miller, Thomas McGrath, all sorts of people. So I gave him a manuscript, uh, which didn't have any title, and uh, some drawings that I had done while I was going to school in Hartford, Connecticut. And he gave me a book contract to publish it. And I mean, it was the most thrilling thing. And so I walked back from his house over by DU under the underpass, and I was thinking, this is really, really neat, you know. And so maybe that was a year before, and I was laying in bed one night, and uh, I decided I wanted to see Jean Genet. So I said, well, I'm not going to see Jean Genet in Denver. So I had saved some money, and I booked passage on a boat to Rotterdam, or to Amsterdam. And I had enough money to go and maybe stay three days and come back. And my folks knew nothing about this until the steamship company called back and uh, to confirm the reservations. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I'm going to Europe. And they said, OK, if you'll go to school, uh, we'll give you like $150 a month, which was enough to live on at that time in the 1960s. So it's about 1965 or so. So anyway, I went to Morocco. I came to Paris. My fr I was lucky I got published when I was 16 in the New York Times. They accepted a, a short poem for the editorial page, which they used to publish, and I was paid $25. But, but all the writing I had done, it was diff different from that point on. And it wasn't the drugs. It was the opening of like the sound current, which is like a real high energy. So I wrote a book called Black. And, I, and Alan Swallow said, he wrote me and I said, I'm going to publish the book. And I said, well, send me the whole thing because I want to redo it. You know, I want to make some corrections. But I stayed in bed in Paris for three days, getting up to do one thing or the other, like eat and so on. And I sent it back to him. And he sent me the proofs. And I sent those back. And it was published in 1966. And it came out for $1.45. Uh, in an edition of maybe 5,000, I have all the rights to it. And now it has become a rare book, and it sells for about $45 a copy. It was based upon alchemy, where gold is produced from iron. You start with something that's worth nothing, and you find it's worth the most. So just the, the doubling and redoubling of the value of the book has accomplished some of the alchemical, the alchemical process. And um, so I'll read you something from it. One, the work black, as it shall be referred to as being, was thought to be conceived as a book called one. His novel Hermes would be called two. His autobiography, Sad Tales of Autumn. Three, and so on. Alfred Dietrich Clayhauer III, as it shall be referred to as being, thought this tormenting and absurd, this notion of naming. For although one did numbering with abandon, one did naming with hesitance. This was communicated to me through an interview. These interviews, because of their strange nature, will simply be called interviews. Tautology is the coup de main of hesitance. I remember one night when I was visiting the author, and he complained that pain was simply an oasis in his desert of pleasure. The room was of some color like the sea. The bed lamps were hidden under leaves and scarves. The author lay in bed in Paris in his shredded green silk pajamas and would discourse at length in a rapid voice. I can say nothing of this voice for the present, but that it was also articulate. He called this voice, my voice. Night Watch Jazz. Somewhere, Night Watch Jazz is playing and blowing. A vacuum cleaner is playing, thing to do on a rainy Sunday. Gold-haired woman standing in the subway, away from her. And when she blew out the smoke, her looking like a gold dragon. She is two years in the city, and on the east side, in the streets, she is tough from the east side streets. Her name is Night Watch. Night Watch is there with us, 
and she is digging really a lot, and hey, it is really beautiful. She, Nightwatch, says, hey, I'd like to get off with you cats. We get off, and now we're on the subway, Jesus, going to the flea market. Near the flea market, we saw a man showing his jewel, like a cat would, said Nightwatch. How much is the snow on the stained glass lantern? I ask her in my impeccable French. And while the old bitch owner is not looking, I eat up a carved ivory tape measure marked in centimeters, an accordion, six rosaries, a picture of the sea, a wood block, a pot of azaleas making harp music, and all of their money, and the gold fillings in their teeth. The rest was not worth taking. Night watch had eaten a handful of glass beads and had to go to the bathroom. She had stolen a cloth bird covered with parrot feathers to sleep with. The concept of the joy pocket. Happiness is to be with what you love. By being at one with the world, you are not of it. Part loves whole. Whole loves part. Part loves part. It's all okay.